Hey everyone, it's Apache here and welcome back to another episode of Modded Mega Aquarium, the brutal campaign mode. Thank you very much for joining me today and continuing to show your support for the series. If you do enjoy this episode, please leave a like and a comment. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe as well. So I have finally updated my GOG version of this game and I've added in the Freshwater Frenzy campaign as well. Uh, we are still going to work through the base game campaign. However, this means we can actually use some of the new stuff which is within the game. So today we're going to go into Myra. Take charge of Myra Aquarium where the only size that fits is large. Now this, game, this level does actually work quite well to my playstyle. Um, I like building the large stuff. However, I think I've been a bit too cavalier in some of the earlier levels and I'm really going to try to uh, curb my enthusiasm on this level here. So reading through the blurb on this, we have uh, the new owners of Myra Aquarium have decided that its collection of smaller animals just won't cut it anymore. In fact, they have charged you with an ambitious goal. Obtain and house a collection of five or inspiring sharks. So this is the shark level. It doesn't stop there. So convinced that size is all that matters, they have forbidden you to purchase anything they deem too small. Even small tanks and filters are off the menu. On the plus side, each time you obtain a new shark, they'll reward you with a bunch of cash and animals, so they should be your priority. Are you ready to think big? Get to it. Right, so there's a few things we want to do straight away here. The first animal we want to research is going to be this bull huss, because we have uh, the bull huss as one of the sharks. So this is the first shark we're going to surprise in. One of the nice things about the new additions to the game is that we now have a scroll bar so we can see exactly how much we actually need to research on each given um, level. So if we have a look on a couple of these you can see all of these levels now have a scroll bar where they didn't before. So we'll go for the little hus straight away and the first, um, I've got an idea about how I want this to this level to end up basically. And so the first thing I want to research, you'd think it would normally be something like a mega heater or a nitrate reactor. I want to get this uh, uh, Osaka Observer Tank pretty much straight away. We're also going to pause the game immediately because I do remember, I have already seen, this tank at least um, needs some rocks in it to actually, so we're not getting negative prestige everywhere. Um, so this will give me seven rock just there and then we can put in one more uh, let's see and oh yes thank you to somebody down in the comments for telling me uh, these are specifically for the drop-off tanks even you can tell it says drop-off scenery um, it's something I hadn't I, I did know and I did kind of pick up on but I hadn't picked up on recently if you know what I mean and they're just so good to put in normal tanks um, for the for the whole um, cave and rock. So they're, they're such good things to, to add for that. But yes, they are specifically for the drop-off tanks. And I'd quite like to use those in this level as well. So we'll get a live rock as well, I think, at the back there. And then I there's another tank, I remember, which messed me up on this. Yes, it's this one. Um, I, I, I've been read, uh, watching back through my old series and I do did see that this tank had no um, no fish in it or no animals in it. And so I think in here, what size is it? 23. I actually think just something like, something like a panther grouper would be quite good. Although we don't have any cave, there's not too much space. I mean, we could get four. Yes, yeah, so let's put a panther grouper in. And if we search for cave, then we can do a driftwood. Now we're going to have to move stuff around a little bit. So I need three space, but two of them need to be next to each other so if we put that on there then we can put a driftwood cave there and we can put a small driftwood just there and that'll give us the four that we need i think that is everything apart from we need a staff door just there and i think that is everything okay 
Now one thing I am going to do very early on in this level is actually just leave it to run. It's one of the things I haven't really done uh, in this campaign so far, is just let stuff build up at the very very start of the game. And I think it's going to be really important to do that. Let's just have a look at the Fishpedia, make sure every tank has at least something in it. That's good. Nothing is complaining too much. We'll wait for the first day. Uh, see if anything's complaining at the beginning of the next day and just make sure we're okay with all of this So it's the start of the day with no change So I think I'm gonna wait for some research to be done. I want to get these bull husses Researched nothing will actually happen once these go. Oh, we are actually getting some problems here though. We've not got enough um, Of the tool stations so I'm going to increase the size of this a bit. Because we will be expanding out this way anyway. And let's get tool station there and the tool station there. Let's move these around a bit. And there we go. And these are being fixed up now. Yep. Okay. Yeah, all of our staff are on top of everything. We just need to make sure that we're all okay, but this is stable because this is going to stay here for now whilst we build up some stuff um, in the non-public areas, which we're going to build up next. So we now have the bull husses researched, so we can pick the next research on this. And I think the next one I want to go for, let's have a look at what we have. Do we have anything which is kind of nice and big? Actually, I think the Zebra Mori, sorry, not the Zebra Mori Eel, the Banana Mori Eel here might be a good one, because I want to have a couple of eel exhibits. Um, we do need to pause the game, however, because this tank here is not good enough at the moment, and we're going to have to do a bit of shifting around here to be able to fix this problem. So if we move this out, I suppose I could actually just sell that, we don't need that. And if we shift all of this stuff down, we move that to there, we move that to there. That means that we can sell this one here and we can get a large protein scale just there. And at the moment I'm just kind of jury rigging all of this. I think we will end up putting all of these, because all of this is just hot water, salt water, tropical salt water. So it can all be on the same network. And if we have a look at how many machines we've got here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We've got 15 different machines here, which are all breaking down at different times. Uh, so all of these tanks are um, getting worse and worse and worse over time, um, as the staff can't really keep up too much with that. We've got a decent amount of money, so let's have a think about uh, expanding out here just a little bit, first of all. So if we bring that out, I, know I want a decent amount of space and we are going to want to expand uh, anyway. So if we bring that out to there, for now I'm just going to put in the walls back in there. Uh, but we can shift all this down a little bit. And then we can have a look at putting all of this onto a single network. Now, I think probably the best way to do this is just get rid of absolutely everything, including ones I've just changed around there. And then we can have a look at exactly how much space we have and how much space we're going to need for everything. Um, do we want to change anything around, add new stuff in? What might be quite good is to say, move all of this stuff out for now. And if we move these people out like this. And you as well. And then we can try and consolidate this down a little bit. So if we take out these side walls, and if we say that all of this is going to be in one go, 
Then we can say this corner tank could go there. And then we could move that to there, maybe? Hmm, how do we want to do this? Ah, tell you what. We get rid of that staff door. I'll get rid of that. If we move that to there, then we could even do something like this. And uh, I want to get the paint. And get the Aztec paint. Uh, Aztec. I just want to paint all. Oh, no, don't want to do that. Paint all over that. Have I just lost something? No, good. Didn't mean to pause the game. So, right, um, I think now we want to have. If we have that one there. Then we could have this all the way around there. That creates a nice little dog leg thing there. And we can have a staff door just there. That adds a little bit more intrigue to the shape. Means we have space for a couple more tanks if we want them over here. And hopefully enough space for all the pumps as well. So let's get the pumps in. We'll have one there going to that one, one there going to that one, one there going to that one. So now this wants to be connected to there. This one wants to be connected to there. And then this one can be connected over here. So if we grab another power pump, and we'll add that, say, onto over here. And that'll connect onto there. And this one, we want to connect onto, say, this one as well. We're going to need a fair few of these pumps because you can only connect one more tank. <clears throat> one more tank up to each pump. So we're going to need one onto there as well. And the idea is just to try and connect all of these pumps together into one big network. And so this is connecting all of those pumps. This one has a spare connection to come over to here. And I know this isn't particularly uh, pleasant to look at at the moment but we are going to try and do something with it because we can hide all of this stuff away and it's not going to bother the star let's close all of these windows now each one of these has two tanks coming off it and so does each of these and then once we get the larger pumps we can consolidate this down again and make it even better. So if that one goes to there and this one comes to here and then this one comes to here we should be able to get all of these together. So that one connects onto there, that one connects onto there and then this one connects onto here. And so now all of these should be on the same network. Let's have a look. If we put in now three of these, are all of these not complaining about heat? Yep, we've got all of them. Excellent. So we only need three heaters to, to do the whole of this now. And once we get this mega heater here, we'll be able to consolidate that down again. So now we just want the large filters and I don't think we're actually going to have enough space on this one. No. So we are going to need a second pump. So we'll grab that. 
So we place that there. And on this one, we're going to want another filter and another protein skimmer. Just like that. Okay. And yeah, we, oh wow, we need one more as well. Another protein skimmer. Now this looks like a lot of machines all bundled together here. However, we had, what, 15, 16 different machines over here. And now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 in total, and we can add more tanks in as well. We've consolidated down this area here. Uh, made sure we've made the most use of the space inside this fairly packed little area here. And also we can do that and this and this so that's all of the pumps hidden away from both the staffs and both sorry both the staff and from the uh, people from the customers and now we're just going to move all of this against the walls so we've got space in the center as well and that means we can add more animals and more feeding stations. Uh, that one there and that one just there. Okay let's press play make sure everything is okay and let's see what we have here. Dante has leveled up. We want to get your talking up as soon as possible Dante. We know that from previous experience. We do have some problems with Porcupine Puffer and Marbled Serpent Starfish not being able to level uh, grow up here. So that is, I think, this tank over here. We're going to need to expand this tank and make this one a lot bigger. I think that may be our next choice because these pop-ups keep coming in every day and they are quite annoying. So I think the best way to deal with this problem down here is probably to add in a new wall tank up here. Uh, so if we have a look at what wall tanks we've got. I and mean, we could go, well, go for one of these stretchable tanks, but I think we do need something fairly big and maybe one of these deep sunken observer tanks would actually work over here if we brought it out like that that might actually be quite a cool way to do it so if we cancel these three here we come back in deep sunken wall, uh, observer tank if we bring that out to there Now, if we bring this onto this network, it adds a huge amount. This is 90 on its own. Actually, it doesn't add a huge amount. It only adds one more of these. So if we move back to there, put a new heater onto there, and then we say we want a power pump just there, leading to this, and leading to this. That is everything okay. We can block access to that off. We can add in stair and platform. And then we're just going to move everything from here straight on over. So move all of these straight into there. Whoops, that's not good. Now add this tank back on. So we do need some rock in here. Also gives us an opportunity to decorate this tank a little bit more. Uh, so we have some small rocks with kelp. They are two. We need eight in total. So I do want some live rocks because they add the prestige. So we'll add a couple of those. And then we have there's a small rock with kelp. A couple of those at the back there. We also have some red algae, which is always quite nice. And some decor items. So let's have a look at the decor. I'll have a pagoda in there, why not? Right in the centre. And then around that, I think just some of this feather calpura. There and there, and there. We've got one space left, we won't worry about that. And so now this tank is empty. This has how much space in it? 15 space, not too much. 
However, that's probably enough space to be able to add in, uh, well, something at least. And we could have a, add a coral grouper into here if we want. That might actually be a good one because it can't be housed with other coral groupers. It will go into another tank eventually, but it will need to grow up. Because it's one that can eat smaller fish. Uh, we definitely don't want the bull huss in there yet, and that's cold water anyway. Um, a lot of the other stuff is either too big, too small, or cold water. So yeah, I think we'll have a coral grouper in here. Uh, but that does need some caves, so we're going to have to cancel that bit. And we'll go for cave. Scroll down and we will grab just a rocky overhang. Just that. Okay, so we now have... Everything has grown. Wonderful. Got plenty of room still in here. We've got 50 space left in here. Um, so anything we, else we want to add could go straight into here. Do I now have, because I've installed Freshwater Frenzy, do I now have access to the science and ecology signs? Ooh, no I don't. I was hoping that they would be available in the base game as well as in Freshwater Frenzy, but it doesn't look like they are. That's a real shame. I might actually mod those into the base game. Because they'd be really cool. So the mega heaters have now been researched and we're just getting these neon tetra tanks as well. These are going to be important because between now and the next episode I'm going to want to build up quite a large amount of money uh, to be able to do the big expansion on this place. And I think the other thing I'm going to want to uh, really research early on is the floor tank as well. So while we're just changing over some of these, I want to take these ones out there and we will put these mega heaters in. Now these do need uh, replacing more often. However, we only need two of them. So we've uh, taken four machines out and added two of them back in. And so now let's just have a look. Everything's okay, yep. It looks like we don't have too much redundancy um, on how much of this stuff we have, the filtration. Uh, that will change once we have these in, however, the large double filters, because we will be able to double up on those as well. Uh, so I think the only thing else I want to do today is actually add in some of these neon tetra tanks um, here. And so we'll add these in down the front here. And of course, this is our cheeky way of getting a little bit more money out of our guests. They are very, very effective. And I believe we also have the posters we can do. Dante has leveled up. We're getting your talking up as soon as possible. And I might actually add in... I'll do the talks next episode. Um, uh, let's, let's just have a look at the posters. See if we have these. So we have the whale poster. We'll have that one there. We have the shark poster. We'll have that one there. And um, we'll have the decorative ones as well. The penguin poster. Um, which will go there. And the seal and sea life. Which can go... Where can that one go? Can't really go anywhere. Actually, if we move that one to that, and then we move this one. Okay, so it won't, why won't it go there? Hmm. Oh, well, we will move it onto this wall over here. Here, there we go. Right, so that's everything I did in that I want to add in for now. We've got a decent amount of prestige. We've got a decent enough amount of ecology and science and we're going to have a decent enough amount of money coming in so that means this is the point where i just leave this game to run for a while while i render this video out <laughs> and we'll see how it is once that's done um yeah we'll come back next episode and we will be able to expand 
and do quite a lot I hope in this area. I do have a very decent idea about how this is going to end up looking. I hope that it ends up looking as good as I think it will, uh, but yeah, we shall see. Thank you very much for joining me today. If you did enjoy this episode, please leave a like, comment and subscribe on the video and to the channel and I will. See you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please consider supporting me by subscribing to the channel and liking and commenting on the videos. Thanks. See you next time.